Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share my own cancer story with you as a testament to the power of faith and of community. On August 21st, 2009, a day before my 32nd birthday, I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. When I received the diagnosis, I had an overwhelming peace as I was reminded of three things. No matter what the outcome, I knew that God was still sovereign. I knew that he loved me and that he'd be with me each step of the way. I also made three decisions that day. I wanted his will to be done in my life. I was going to fight cancer and do all that I could to beat it, and that I would not let fear rule me. At that time, I'd been married to my amazing husband, Ben, for 12 years. We had two precious children, Caitlin, who was four, and Daniel, who was two. With this new journey that we were on, I was very thankful for the incredible community of friends and family that surrounded us with huge amounts of support and encouragement. I even had 15 women who shaved their heads in support of me. Four of the women I had only met the day of the event. I was in awe. I went through eight rounds of chemotherapy and two years of maintenance chemo. With each treatment that I received, I was hoping to meet other cancer patients at the Infusion Therapy Center that I could encourage and lift their spirits that day. I wanted to be a light even in the dark circumstances. I know that when we go through tough times and struggles in life, that's when people watch us the most. They wanna see how we respond to life's difficulties. And I wanted to show them the joy that I had from the Lord in my life and I wanted to be a light for Jesus till the very end. Cancer has made me bolder and stronger in many areas. Before cancer, I was extremely shy and didn't enjoy speaking in groups of larger than five. But I wanted to use this new platform that I was given for Woman of the Year in the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to share the hope that I had with others, to fight for others that are currently battling cancer, and to share my own story with them to um, be a light for Jesus through it all too and give him the glory and all that he's done in my life through my own journey. I am here today because of the Lord's provision over my life, because of friends and family who have prayed for me, and because of incredible organizations like the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society who fight every day to try to find a cure for cancer, but also help families and um, cancer patients who are currently battling cancer so that they can have treatments and transportation costs co provided to them and cancer um, treatment costs as well. But they try to also find prevention for cancer as well. So I'm thankful for organizations like Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. With the campaign that I'm a part of, I would also love to bless three local families who have lost a loved one to cancer with a grant in their loved one's name. The three people that I would love to um, honor with a grant, one is Josie Lewis from Mannheim, one is Andy Miller from York, York PA, and one is David Brinkley from Mechanicsburg. They all fought to the very end and showed others um, true true passion for life and the love that they had for their families and friends.
In addition to the gift of friendship that I received through my cancer journey, Ben and I also received the gift of our youngest daughter, Sophia Grace. We always wanted three children. We had the name Sophia picked out a couple years before I had cancer. We were told that we probably would not be able to have any more children, but the Lord blessed us with Sophia Grace exactly five years from the date that I was diagnosed with cancer. We, were very, we are very thankful for the Lord blessing us with her, and she is our sweet little blessing to all of us in our family. In closing, I'd like to leave you with two Bible verses that have been a huge inspiration to me through my journey and even now today. The first is Isaiah 43, 1-3. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the mighty rivers, they will not sweep over you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flames burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And then Jeremiah 17, 7-8. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose confidence is in Him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, but its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to produce fruit. I hope all of you have been blessed by my story, but truthfully, I want to use this um, journey that the Lord's given me to help others and encourage others. And if I can help anybody, please feel free to reach out to me so I can um, encourage you through whatever struggle in life you're going through. And um, thank you again for taking the time to listen to my journey. God bless you all.